matching the influx of foreign immigrants into the larger cities of the United States during the late 19th century, was a domestic migration, from town and farm to city, within the United States. The country had been overwhelmingly rural at the beginning of the century, with less than 5% of Americans living in large towns or cities. The proportion of urban population began to grow remarkably after 1840, increasing from 11% that year to 28% by 1880, and to 46% by 1900s. A country with only six cities boasting a population of more than 8,000 in 1800s, had become one with 545 such cities in 1900s. Of these, 26 had a population of more than 100,000 including three that held more than a million people. Much of the migration producing an urban society came from smaller towns within the United States. But the combination of new immigrants and old American settlers on America's urban frontier in the late 19th century proved extraordinary. The growth of cities and the process of industrialization fed on each other. The agricultural revolution stimulated many in the countryside to seek a new life in the city and made it possible for fewer farmers to feed the large concentrations of people needed to provide a workforce for growing numbers of factories. Cities also provided ready and convenient markets for the products of industry and huge contracts in transportation and construction, as well as the expanded market in consumer goods allowed continued growth of the urban sector of the overall economy of the United States. Technological developments further stimulated the process of urbanization. One example is the Bessemer Converter, an industrial process for manufacturing steel, which provided steel girders for the construction of skyscrapers. The refining of crude oil into kerosene, and later the development of electric lighting as well as of the telephone, brought additional comforts to urban areas that were unavailable to rural Americans and helped attract many of them from the farms into the cities. In every era the lure of the city included a major psychological element for country people. The bustle and social interaction of urban life seemed particularly intriguing to those raised in rural isolation.